Come here, sit down, let's talk. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to build a monster dividend portfolio. Now, if you don't already have a brokerage, I'm gonna leave a link to Moomoo down in the description. You sign up, deposit $100, you can get up to 15 free stocks and have a 5.1 APY percent um, cash sweep. So all, all the cash that's just sitting inside of your portfolio, you can earn interest on that along with getting paid dividends. So this is by far the best promotion that Moomoo has in a while. So you might want to click that link down in the description. Also, I'm going to leave a link to Weibo down in the description. You sign up, deposit $1 if you want to, and you can receive up to 12 free stocks. With those 12 free stocks, you can keep them inside the platform and decide to use it. Or you can sell those free stocks and withdraw all of your money. Guys, it's literally free money. Now, I have to say that at the beginning of this video so we can get straight into the subject matter of building this monster dividend portfolio. If you want to learn how to do that, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. It helps out this channel more than you could possibly imagine, right? So, yeah, guys, after you pick up your Moomoo -moo and your Weeboos with the link down in the description, I'm going to also leave a link to my Mastering Dividends ebook down in the pinned comment section. If you check out that ebook and read it from beginning to end, you will learn everything you need to know about dividend investing just from that free ebook book down below you click that you get the pdf you'll learn everything you need to know about dividend investing much more than i could tell you in this video alone so if you guys want to learn everything you need to know about dividend investing click that link down in the pinned comment section to get my free ebook my uh, pdf over mastering dividend and it's also free and you could go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos now in this video i've been in investing into dividends for a while my shirt right here say dividends are dope i'm making money right now listen i've been doing dividend investing for quite some time now and there are a lot of dividend investors out there they're just getting started and then they got to go through the low points and the high points and they have this crazy they're considering a monster dividend portfolio to be oh my portfolio is going to bring in a dividend yield of 10 percent my portfolio is going to bring in a dividend yield of 11 percent my monster portfolio is monster because it's bringing in such a high dividend yield that's not a monster dividend portfolio the portfolio i'm going to show you how guys how to build today it's monster because it's going to stand the test of time and also it's going to bring you in hundreds of thousands of dollars in dividends every single year by the time you're ready to retire guys so if you want to build a correct monster dividend portfolio make sure you watch this from beginning all the way to the end you can pause it go get your pen go get your pay it go get your ipad your note paper sticky notes write it down record it just play this video back and let me get some more views but yeah so let's just go ahead and dive straight into it now the first thing that i would tell you uh, new investors about dividend investing is that if you don't know anything about dividend investing and that you want to grow your portfolio and you don't even know what dividends are first of all dividends is a form of payment that these companies pay back their investors me and you right for saying hey thank you for investing inside of our company here's a little check now what these companies are saying is by far the passive the most passive form of income there is. I literally do nothing. I wake up and they putting money inside my account just like that, like, like once a week, sometimes twice a day, three times a day, money hitting my account. It's the most passive form of income there is if you're doing it right. Now, the other thing about dividend investing is that they have the dividend yield. Now, if every company pay out the same amount of money, with the higher the yield, the higher they pay you in dividends. So if they have a 13, 14% dividend yield, you're gonna make a lot of money in dividends from this company. And if they have a lower dividend yield, like half a percent, you're not gonna make a lot of money from dividends, but the company might grow more in the future, right? So new dividend investors, they're gonna see that high dividend yield, they're gonna go buy that stock, and then five, 10 years down the line when they're, they're gonna not going to be looking too good because it, it, it's not going to stand the test of time they're going to end up losing money in the long run chasing high dividend yield now if you know nothing about dividend investing and you just found out what dividends are i highly suggest that you guys uh while you're learning up on it the easiest thing for you to do is to invest inside a high yield dividend etf one of the coolest ones on youtube right now is SEHD. it's a dividend etf that hold uh stocks that have a decent dividend yield inside their portfolio you invest inside uh, SEHD. HD. They have a whole bunch of different companies inside their portfolio. So you're diverse across many different platforms, many different sectors, many different companies. You just invest inside that one ETF and you guys can make some dividend um, income that way every single quarter. Now I say quarter because there are different kind of dividend companies out there. There are monthly paying dividend stocks 
and then their quarterly paying dividend stocks monthly paying dividend stocks pay out their dividends every single month i mean every single month you're going to be receiving a check from that one company now the quarterly paying dividend stocks usually the blue chip style companies they pay out their dividends every single quarter four times a year or once every three months now we're going to be looking at both now so they have monthly paying dividend stocks quarterly paying dividend stocks and there, there's uh, many of them many different ones in between now looking at some of the quarterly paying dividend stocks take notes guys there are many out there there are some that are dividend kings and dividend aristocrats. Now, dividend aristocrats, companies that's inside the S&P 500, the top 500 companies in America, and they've increased their dividends every single year for the last 25 years, right? Amazing, they increased their dividends every single year for the last 25 years. And then there are dividend kings. Dividend kings are the same companies that's inside the S&P 500, but they increased their dividends every single year for the last 50 years. That mean every no matter through recession depression pandemic anything like that they was able to increase their dividends no matter how bad the economy was they was able to increase their dividends that's why a lot of people go and invest um they're building their monster dividend portfolio by just investing inside dividend kings is it safer yes it's safer but are you going to make as much money probably not make as much money because they usually sometimes don't always have the best dividend yield. Now, the reason people do invest inside dividend kings and dividend aristocrats is because other companies out there are at risk of getting their dividends cut. Removed completely or cut in half or cut by some percent or just don't raise their dividend yield at all. And that's why people that go and chase these high paying dividend companies, they have a 12% dividend yield. And then two, three years later, when you think you're doing well, they cut their dividends and then uh, they cut their dividends in half from 12% to 6%, you just lost half your income, buddy. You just lost half your income just because this company could not keep up with their dividends and they had to cut it. Now, the reason that uh, investing to high yield dividends is kind of scary is because just imagine a company is paying back the investors so much money, they're unable to take their earnings and reinvest it back inside of their company in order to grow the company right? Their, their company won't grow at all. Their stock is going to stay at the same price for the next 10, 15, 20 years because they can't grow their company because they're paying all of their money back to investors in dividends versus a company that has a lower dividend yield. They're only paying back their investors, hey, a little bit of a dividend yield, a little bit of change, and they're taking most of that money to reinvest it back into the company and grow their company by tenfold. Now you're making money from growth in that company and you're making money from this company increasing their dividend yield by small percents every single year. Year. So the smartest way to build a monster dividend portfolio is to look at the 10 year growth rate of the companies that you are very interested into putting inside of your dividend portfolio. So we're going to be looking at growth rate in this video and then we're going to do a couple of examples. But let me explain some more dividends to you guys. There is a thing called real estate REITs. Real estate REITs, uh, real estate investment trust companies, they invest inside the real estate sector, right? And by law, they have to pay back 90% of their taxable income in the form of dividends back to their investors. They usually have a high dividend yield and that's why a lot of people are attracted to them and they also pay out their dividends every single month. Most people run straight to them and say, I have a monster dividend portfolio. It's only one or two in there that I really trust. And that is the first one on this list, ticker symbol O, uh, Realty Income. They are known as the monthly paying dividend stock. They are dividend aristocrats. They are inside the S&P 500 and they increase their dividends every single year for the last 25 years. Another one that I like on this list that you guys are not going to consider a dividend stock is Apple, right? They have such a low dividend yields, probably like half a percent. And people are going to say, no, that is not a dividend company. Uh, they have such a small percent. But Apple has increased their dividend growth by around six to seven. It was at 10 percent not, not too long ago for the last 10 years, I think last year. But they increased increased their 10-year their growth rate by around like 8%. I'll look it up later on in this video. That is amazing to me because it's not too high, it's not too low, and they have an amazing growth rate in their dividends for the last couple of years and the growth in Apple is completely insane. So on one hand, you got the real estate REIT that pays such a high dividend, but not gonna have a lot of growth. And on the other hand, you have Apple that pays a low dividend. They pay dividend, but they pay a low dividend, but they're gonna have high growth in the future. And a half a percent of a trillion dollar company 
is better than 10% of a billion dollar company because the percentage on a multi-trillion dollar company is gonna be completely amazing, especially when they continue to grow over time. So we're gonna pull up some stocks in this video. We're gonna look at their, their growth rate. Then we're gonna show you an example of how you can make hundreds of thousands of dollars in dividend income from dividend investing. But before we pull that up, another big thing about dividend investing is that if you, if you guys don't do this, you're screwed. You are screwed. And that is the compound interest effect. You want to reinvest your dividends back into the company. Why would you not want to reinvest your dividends back into a company that you already trust, right? I'm going to show you guys in this video that if you invest $10,000 or one-time investments of $10,000 inside a company and reinvest your dividends versus not reinvesting your dividends, a one-time investment of $50,000 and a one-time investment of $100,000 um, reinvesting your dividends and not reinvesting your dividends on how much money that you could be making in the future from hundreds of thousands of dollars to not so much money that you could live off of in the future. So let's go ahead and pull up a couple of stocks and I can show you guys how you can find these dividend growth rates, dividend yields, uh, things like that in order for you to start to build your own dividend, your monster dividend portfolio. All right, here we are on um, seeking alpha ticker symbol mo Altria group right there forty three dollars and thirty two cents. So let's just scroll down now. Altria fifty four years. They inside the SP five hundred. So whether that make them guys, that make them dividend kings. They've been increasing their dividends every single year for the last fifty four years. They have an annual payout of three dollars and ninety two cents per share and a high, amazing dividend yield of eight point nine nine percent. Now that is kind of high, but they've also still been able to increase their dividends every single year for the last 54 years. So are they at risk of getting their dividends cut? They could be at risk of getting their dividends cuts, but let's take a look at another one, Apple right quick, AAPL. And then I'm gonna show you guys the dividend growth rate. So Apple is at $170 every recording this video. They've been increasing their dividends every single year for the last 10 years. And they have a dividend yield of, like I said, half percent, 0.5%. Now, are they at risk of getting their dividends cut? Probably no time soon, right? So let's look at the dividend growth right here. And we wanna look at the, there you go, growth rate over the last 10 years. And Apple is at 8.22%. Anything above like seven, six and a half is pretty good, but 8.22 is amazing. Uh, if you, once you get to around the 10, that is something that you want to do more research on to really add to your um, portfolio because the growth, if they continue up to 10 year growth every single decade for the next three decades of 10% growth rate, those dividends is going to add up to where you could completely retire and do absolutely nothing and receive those dividend payments and live off of that. So we did look at Apple. Let's pull back up MO, Ultra Group. There it goes, the 10 year growth rate for MO. 7.5%, uh, not bad. I mentioned to your symbol O is probably not going to be as high because they're real estate REIT. 10 year growth, 3.81%. It's not the best. Um, IBM is a pretty good one that I like. Um, IBM have a growth rate over the last 10 years of 6.3%, a little lower than what I expected, but it's not bad. Microsoft, MSFT. There you go, Microsoft right there has a 10.86% dividend growth rate over the last 10 years. Amazing, that's the double digits that we was looking for. We looked at Apple, let's look at uh, Broadcom, which is what, uh, AVGO, AVGO. Now Broadcom, once we type that in, they have, <laughs> over the last 10 years, they have a 35.28% dividend growth rate. So guys, when you're building out your dividend um, portfolio, your monster dividend portfolio, don't always just let's let's take a look at their dividend scorecard there it goes they've been increasing their dividends for the last 13 years and they have a dividend yield of 1.58 percent so just because they have a low percent don't mean that they're not they're going to increase it over time and especially over the last five years the growth rate of a 17.49 percent which is pretty good so these companies can increase it over time you want to look at the past um statistics to kind of project towards their future statistics and you don't want to invest into companies like uh QYLD that have a very high uh, dividend yield of 11.5% with a zero year growth rate with a negative 0.76 growth rate. And a lot of people are investing inside QYLD every single day. I used to do it. I made a video about that and how I got in and got out alive and actually made money from it. But with QYLD, they have a negative growth rate, zero years growth, but they have a high dividend yield. And people are building these monster dividend portfolios with high dividend stocks in there that pay out their dividends every single month. But in the long run, they're gonna, they're gonna be in trouble for it. So let's take a quick look. Let's say we had $10,000, right? Um, there we go, from 2000 to 2024, a one-time investment of $10,000. 
um, we're going to reinvest our dividends into ticker symbol O, which is the monthly paying dividend um, real estate REIT, um, Apple and MO, right? So this is us investing a one-time payment back in 2000, $10,000 into these three different companies. We're going to hit analyze portfolio. And there it goes right there with just one time investment, $200,000, um, $2.2 million. Of course, we all know Apple is going to go crazy and $300,000. Let's see how much we'll be bringing in in dividends. There you go. In 2023 with a uh, realty income, you'll have $11,000 um, every single year. Apple, you'll have $12,000 every single year. In Archer Group, you have $27,000 every single year. Yes, it's not enough to live off of yet, but let's just say uh how much do you need to invest let's say we invested fifty thousand dollars on one time payment of fifty thousand dollars in hit analyze portfolio um remember we are reinvesting our dividends let's scroll down we have one million dollars in each 11 million dollars in apple 1.6 million dollars in archer group and we scroll down to 2023 um now we're bringing in fifty six thousand dollars in realty income we could definitely live off of that comfortably especially if we move to mexico we can live like a king out there right so we have fifty six thousand dollars in uh realty income we'll be bringing in sixty thousand dollars in apple remember apple only pays a half a percent dividend yield right oh apple's not just dividend stock apple's not a dividend stock well they outperform Realty income, a monthly paying dividend stock, the monthly paying dividend stock. They outperformed them, right? With $60,000. And with Altria Group, you'll be bringing in $137,000. That's crazy. Now, let's say if we don't reinvest our dividends. Well, first, let's say what, happen, what happens if we invest $100,000. All right, so we invest $100,000 in the last portfolio. Apple's going to be dumb. I already know it's going to be dumb. $22 million, uh, $2 million, and $3 million with uh, ticket symbol MO. And if we go out to 2023, uh, realty income, you have $113,000 in dividend income doing nothing at all. Uh, Apple, you have $121,000. And Archer Group, you have $274,000 with a one time investment, with a one time investment of $100,000. Now, I know you guys are saying that's a lot of money. Let me show you guys this very simple trick. But what happens if we don't reinvest our dividends? Let me show you. All right, so if we don't reinvest our dividends, oh man. See that only five hundred thousand dollars, one hundred and eighty nine thousand dollars and eighteen million dollars. And then our dividend income would be completely trash. Thirty K, a hundred thousand from Apple and sixteen from Archer Group. So we always want to reinvest our dividends. And that's with one hundred thousand dollars. So let's just say uh, we are we are going to reinvest our dividends and we only started off with fifty thousand dollars. But now right we're cutting a hundred thousand dollars i would start off with fifty thousand dollars but we're going to invest twenty dollars every single day or a hundred dollars a week or that's four hundred dollars every single month then we're going to hit analyze portfolio and there you go you have 1.6 million 26 million and 2 million and you're still going to be bringing in a crazy dumb amount right eighty nine thousand dollars one hundred and forty six thousand dollars from apple and then two hundred and two thousand dollars from archer group and that's just from 50k and reinvesting four hundred dollars a month but let's just say if we started off with 10K, will we be comfortable? 10K usually it's not going to get it done, just a one time investment. But we are reinvesting with Apple. You have uh, 17 million, almost a million with uh, tickets of my O. And Altria, you have 1.1 million. And with dividends, you'll have, yeah, 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 yeah. You start off with a one time investment of $10,000 and then you invest $20 every single day or $400 a month. You will be able to retire very comfortably with 44K. 97k and 92k and look at that apple outperformed both of those high dividend paying stocks with ninety-seven thousand dollars in dividends from a company that's not a dividend paying stock because they have such an amazing dividend growth rate and there we go dreamers that is a little trick that you guys can use to uh, build a monster dividend portfolio don't go crazy looking for the high dividend yields oh i need high dividend yields those are going to get cut and then they have a negative growth rate. Most I could have showed you a, a whole bunch of examples of companies that had their dividend cut or a negative dividend growth rate or just because they have a high dividend yield. A lot of people are running their monster dividend portfolio. No, these that have a good growth rate that don't have a high dividend yield to where they can actually grow their company is going to stand the test of time. What I always say is that we are investing in our companies that we absolutely love that just so happen to pay dividends. We're not going to invest inside a company just because they pay dividends. That's not the number one reason. We invest inside a company that we love 
that just so happened to pay dividends so he could stand the test of time and we can make money in the long run and also retire from dividends by doing absolutely nothing. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button if you made it to this video. Let's try to get it to a thousand likes. If we can get a thousand likes, that would be completely insane. Hit the subscribe button that helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. Also, let me know down in the comment section, are you already building out your dividend portfolio? What's the most you ever made in one month from your dividends? I'd like to check that out down in the description as well because I'm going to do an update video on uh, my monthly income from dividends. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on that one. Um, guys, don't forget to pick up your free stocks down in the description to Moomoo and to Weeble. Pick up free stocks. That's an easy way to get started. If you guys want to learn more about dividend investing, I'm going to leave a link to my free ebook down in the comment section. But other than that, guys, thank you for watching. I'm Zeke bringing you the Dream Green Show. I'm out. Peace.